Aviation Company in California, two of the three sections of the Apollo spacecraft are taking shape. These sections, called command and service modules, are thoroughly checked for astronaut safety. Every part, system, subsystem, and component is undergoing exhaustive tests for high reliability. Across the country, in Bethpage, New York, the Grumman Aircraft Corporation is developing the third section of the spacecraft called Lunar Excursion Module, or LEM. The LEM will be used for the actual landing of two astronauts on the moon. To fly spacecraft, pilots are needed. Training flight crews for lunar missions requires years. It includes academic classroom courses, experience in simulated space and lunar surface environments, field trips for geologic studies, and research preparation in laboratories. 1965, then, is a year of training, fabrication, assembly, and test for Project Apollo. Parts and pieces of the vast jigsaw are beginning to come together throughout the nation. The spaceport for Apollo moon missions will be Merritt Island, just north of Cape Kennedy. It is here in the Vehicle Assembly Building where the three Saturn rocket stages and Apollo spacecraft will be joined for the trip to the moon. Following assembly, Saturn Apollo will travel to the launch pad, three miles away. This huge vehicle, called the Crawler Transporter, will carry the giant rocket and craft to Pad 39. It is half the size of a football field and creeps along at one mile an hour. After all preparations are completed, the Saturn V launch vehicle will start the three astronauts on their voyage to the moon. They will travel a flight path similar to this, with the journey taking about two and a half days. While in orbit around the moon, two of the men will crawl into the lunar excursion module. The LEM will be detached from the command and service module. And if all looks well, the astronauts will start their actual landing approach on the lunar surface. The beginning of exploration of the moon will be the culmination of a decade of exhaustive research, development, manufacturing, and testing. But it is only the beginning. Project Apollo, gateway to the planets. This has been an aeronautics and space report presented by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.